2K land, man. So it all started with a tweet from my boy, your boy, LD2K. And he, I mean, he just said this, man, at Chris Manning. He just says, hey, we haven't really announced much of it yet, but the badge game is very nuanced this year. Let's just put it this way. The way that you play on the court is going to reflect how your badges get shaped and how your player looks at the end of the day. That is a very interesting tantalizing thing for him to say man and you know what i'm saying we want to find out everything that's going on with that but before we get started make sure y'all like the video comment y'all thoughts down below y'all already know we're trying to get to the moon alice and look check this out also we can get your tease in the breeze when you're rocking with breeze tease go over to the site you can create your own custom stuff i'm gonna show y'all real quick man look we got the new atlanta falcons joint that i'm that i'm about to make right now hey put that on there boom you know what I'm saying? This, this is what I'll be wearing. We're going to the Falcons game this week, so I'm, I'll be wearing that. I'm going to be putting this one in the store pretty soon. But it's just one of them things where you can just kind of see what's going on. You get your custom hats and all that. All that stuff, man. We got all of that, man. And like I always say, if nobody told y'all this today, man, uh, that link is down in the description. Custom mugs, everything. If nobody told y'all this today, y'all my brother and sister love each and every last one of y'all. Let's just get right into the news, man. So, hey, LD, he, he, he came back and he just said... Mike said this via an interview on, with PlayStation. Uh, make sure you read the entire thing uh, for all the new gameplay tidbits. Our gameplay team has been hard at work this year for the fans. Now, listen, if they are hard at work for us this year for the fans, man, listen, I can't get mad at it because anytime those guys work hard, we know the developers work hard. And even though I don't rock with, and I'm going to keep saying it all year, I'm going to bang the drum, beat the drum, show y'all how we can try to get some change about this whole thing with the season pass because it's not going away. I'm not letting it go away. And it, whatever happens, happens, bro. But I'm, a, I'm going to express my grievance with this because everybody be like, ah, ah, if you don't like it, why do you, why do you say something about it? If you really don't like it, you don't even have to buy. Shut the f up. Shut the f up don't y'all understand that they that don't y'all understand it's something called grooming or prepping or you know they kind of test the waters and if they hit y'all with something early then you know what i'm saying what i'm saying like they hit you with it early and see how you react to it if you don't react a certain way to it then then they're gonna keep pushing kind of like you do with your parents kind of like your kids do with you they keep pushing the line towing the line so what i'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to tell us how to get this thing under control. I'm going to see if we can band together and we're going to see what we can do. But I can't even get people to hit the like button. So I will, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to let it, I'm not going to let them live or make it this time, but we're going to see how it go. Anyway, check this out. With that being said, oh man, check this out though. I got to show y'all this too, man. Like I said, I got the print done. This joint is fire, man. I'm, hey, it's going to be fire. It's gonna go, you know what I'm saying? Go on the shirt. Next time y'all see me, I'm gonna have this shirt on, man. Uh, and it's gonna be dope, man. Also got a 3D printer, man. That joint fire. But anyway, y'all, that ain't what here, what's out here for. This is what y'all saying. Grinding, uh, he said he gonna always be a uh, simply grinding on Twitter, grinding DF in your heart, man. But it just says badges are completely reworked in NBA 2K24, it seems. And so uh, this is what we're just gonna read through this real quick. Uh, are there any? It says are, are there any additional gameplay nuances that it, that might be? notice uh at, the, at first you know blah 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 and he just says we haven't really announced it much about it yet but the badge game is very nuanced this year let uh let's put it this way the way that you play on the court is going to reflect how your badges get shaped and how your player looks at the end of the day so when you do something all, over and over again let's say that you're taking spin jumpers your shot is uh, your you're going to see your abilities uh, as a spin jump shooter, I guess spin jump, spin, spin jumper player improve steadily over time. And, uh, and so, and so you're going to find that, uh, you're going to find that just the way that you play in the game, you're going to find that you're going to find that just the way you play the game, bro. I don't know what he was trying to say right there. Just, it, it is what it is. You're going to find it just the way that you play the game. I'm trying to make it make sense and read it at the same time. Let me just read it. I say, what you like to do on the court is going to uh is going to improve you're going to you're going to kind of build your player in that aspect so i'm excited about that and then he comes back and says uh so uh so i'm excited to, i'm excited that we have a a new feature i don't know if this is even related but we're gonna read it anyway i'm excited that we have a new feature in the game where you can play where you can mold your player on the fly as your game uh as you play the game going to be really interesting to see how this turns out another nuanced thing uh another nuanced thing 
a very nuanced thing is probably that play calling buff because you know we, we don't care about that man the only thing we really care about and we got the links to the article down in the description i'll put that down there only thing we really care about is how them badges is hitting man and like we said so um Hey, so we got Shy Boy, my boy, this is my dog, Shy. He say, hey, he says, listen, man, this is actually gonna be a dope concept. No more meta badge bills. Uh, none of that, y'all. <laughs> y'all boys is a uh, pookie do. And the thing is about this, a lot of people like, I don't know how much it is going to affect the game or impact the game and stuff like that. But I will tell you this, you're going to have to at least go and work for the badges. A lot of people feel like it's gonna be just like NBA 2K17 or whatever. And that might be the case, but it might not be the case. And again, I don't know if y'all can hear that fan in the background, but I got this 3D printer going over there, man, and it's, it's doing its thing. So we're gonna see how it says, man. Hey, Fonte says, hey, that will still be meta bills. Uh, there still be meta bills. This is nothing but NBA 2K16 and 17 uh, badge system where, where you can have every badge on bronze and upgrade them to the ones for your bill. I don't think it's gonna be like that. I think it's gonna be like, do you think that 2, 2K never, just goes back and implements something, but implement it the same way that they implement it if they took it out of the game. And so I'm thinking it's gonna be more something like, it'll probably be more like, you see this bad system that we have now? You're not gonna just be able to get, get badges that you're not supposed to be able to get. Yeah, I think it's gonna be attribute based. So it's gonna be the exact same thing that we have now, but you're not going to get the badges until you earn them doing things. So the way that we got it now, like if I got a 70 dunk, I'm only gonna be able to get silver limitless. We just say limitless takeoff. I would only be able to get silver limitless takeoff or or just bronze limitless takeoff. I don't know. I don't know what I'd be able to get, but whatever you can get, let's say I got an 85 jump shot. I know what that is. I can get gold claymore. Can't get hall of fame claymore. I can get silver limitless. That's going to be the same. But in order to get my limitless range, I'm going to have to shoot from Limitless in order to do it. That's what I think it's gonna be. I don't think it's gonna be like you're gonna be able to get everything because that would be a step backwards. Hey, somebody say, hey man, according to according to 2K Intel, the bad system is bite. Hey, we already said that. And it's just when somebody tells, uh, tells you, uh, this is just something I thought was funny. When somebody tells you, he would never do that in real life uh, on NBA 2K with pro play. That's dope right there. You already know that's Duke and what's tonight. Hey, uh, Solo says, I just had a random idea. What if NBA 2K, what if the way NBA 2K works in the builder is is uh, is all for stats? So, I mean, say, dang, man, I, my right eye, I can't see out my right eye. Say you upgraded shooting like crazy. Shooting badges will be easier to unlock uh, or tear up XP wise. If you barely, upgraded defense or rebounding then it'll it, then it's still it's possible to get the badges but it'll be slow no you're not going to be able to get i don't i think it's not going to be like that i think you're not going to be able to get the badges at all we always want something for free or something for nothing in this community i think you're not going to be able to get the badge at all these things will still be statistic dependent or attribute dependent right i think it's still going to be attribute dependent but in order to get it period you're gonna have to do like you had to do in 2k 16 and 17 so you're not gonna just be able to get all the badges you're gonna be able to get the badges that your guy can get and then from there you know we'll go from there i think i think that's how it's gonna be i don't think it's gonna be like like what other people are thinking oh dang we're gonna be back to be we're gonna be back to being able to get every badge and no, i don't think it's gonna be like that i think it's gonna be simply whatever your attributes allow you to get you can get the badge at that tier but you have to unlock it at that tier and not just not just um just shoot jump shots any jump shot or just do any shooting to get it you're going to have to score uh score the ball in that particular way to get it conversely you're not just going to be able to get uh, a 99 steal and put on hall of fame pickpockets you're going to have to get in order to get hall of fame pickpockets you're gonna have to get a whole bunch of steals i think it's gonna be but if you got 50 steel you're gonna get silver or whatever it is that you can get or intercept or whatever you're gonna get those same type of badges. i think that's how it's gonna be but hey i again 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 i digress hey double h says my thoughts on the new bad system separates the grounders from the rest that's what badges were intended to do in the first place promotes your own play style that's what badges were intended to do in the first place certain badges will be earned that's how it was the cons randoms anytime you say randoms you already know it's over with randoms will go for certain badges online and take worse shots ball hog or force or force uh bad passes depending on what badge they're going for making making a new bill will be much more irritating later in the year if 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 you like uh if you like to play online unless rebirth is back and better i probably missed some things 
so let me know i think it's gonna be more like you're just gonna have to go to my career and get the baseline for it and then you can work on everything from there i mean it is what it is now like i said i think it'll be cool because it'll give us a reason to play my career again and it's gonna be stuff like that uh that's gonna be i think it's gonna be instrumental in the game but we'll we'll have a reason to play my career again you'll be going out there you can go out there because they said you can relentlessly grind my career again so we'll be playing my career again not everybody's gonna have every badge so just because this dude got a 99 steal we're not gonna see him getting hall of fame plucks unless he earned it so and, and i don't know if you got to earn it in the competition or if you have to earn it in in my career to me, it really doesn't matter because the way that I play is the way that I play. It's for the people. This is going to hurt more of the people that you don't take a lot of fades and 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 then all of a sudden you was just able to fade from three, but you never took a lot of fades or anything like that. You can only fade with the bad. Somebody like Sid, it's not going to hurt him at all. He does step backs. He does fades. He does those things already. Those are incorporated in his game. So it's going to allow somebody like him to be even more unique where he can do whatever he wants to and he'll get there faster than the next person a lot of people will get there but some of y'all who's shooting is complete and utter ass i mean you're never going to get hall of fame badges it just is what it is and i think that that's that's really what it's about it's about people having abilities that they they never play like they don't even play like that you you they're gonna let your your play is gonna shape the badges instead of your badges shaping your play if that's what we're saying but anyway y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section man this is the wrl i think it's a dub for right now um i'm with it uh anytime you know they they give us something a little bit different something to grind for i'm with it man and a lot of times bro you can get all this stuff in in a couple of my career games or whatever yeah it would be a little bit irritating but if it, it wasn't hard to get those badges in 2k20 uh i mean 17 16 and stuff so i don't think it's gonna be hard here let me know what y'all think down in the comment section man and is this is this bit hard or what, man? This thing ain't fire, shawty. Is it hard or what? And I'm going to holler at y'all next time. <laughs> next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Chap. Guys,